How about chicken parmesan that's actually crispy and not soggy with sauce? Well, stick around and I'll show you how to make it. So we all love chicken parmesan, including me. But usually it's slathered with too much tomato sauce, baked in a baking dish, and it gets soggy before we have a, a chance to eat it. Well, I will show you how to avoid some of that sogginess. Get your ingredients together before you start cooking. And by the way, all the ingredients are listed below in the description, including a link to my recipe blog. And while you're looking at the description, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell button to be notified of new videos. And as we go, I'll tell you what the ingredients are as we cook. First, set up your three bowl breading station. About one cup of flour seasoned with salt and pepper. One egg beaten with a, a little milk. One half cup of breadcrumbs mixed with one half a cup of panko crumbs. Two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. Teaspoon of dried oregano, half teaspoon of dried basil. And we're ready. So what I did was, I took about an eight to 10 ounce uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast. I uh, sliced it in half, butterflied it. Then I pounded it down to about a quarter of an inch. So let's go in here. We're gonna dust it with flour. This will be my dry hand, theoretically. <laughs> and make sure you shake off all the excess. Into the egg and my wet hand. And into the breadcrumbs. And pat the breadcrumbs in. Turn it over a couple of times so you get it all over. Place it on a dry plate and repeat with the other one. Time to wash my hands. Let's uh, get the pasta cooking. I've got about six ounces of uh, spaghetti there, and we're gonna put that in and uh, get it going. I'm gonna cook it about maybe eight to 10 minutes, eight minutes. Okay, using a medium to large nonstick skillet over medium heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil. and two tablespoons of unsalted butter and let it melt. Once it's melted and, and it's hot, let's put the breasts in, lay them down gently away from you. And let them cook until just golden brown, about two minutes. In about two minutes, let's check. And let's give it another half a minute. And turn. Two minutes. Oh, they're almost done. You know, chicken parm really is a simple dish. It's not hard to make. And by the way, if you're wondering about the pasta and the sauce, you can buy your own favorite jarred pasta sauce or make your own like I did and I will include, there's some over there, I will include that recipe and the ingredients uh, in the description down below if you want to make your own. That's it. Turn off the heat.
Now the breasts aren't fully cooked yet probably, okay? So I've got them on a wire rack over a sheet pan and that's another component to help keep it crisp. I'm going to put it in the oven for uh, a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and it's got the air under it which will keep the bottom crisp. If you put it in a baking dish, it's going to get soggy on the bottom. Make sense? Preheat your oven to 350, I hope. <laughs> so let's put a nice glob of grated mozzarella right in the middle. Leave the ends open so, so they stay crispy. And maybe a teaspoon or two of Parmesan cheese. Now into the oven for about 10 minutes. <laughs> 